Well, what you're looking for if you get through a field and you want to see healthy cattle, you want them to have uh, good skins on them. You want them to be in reasonable condition. You need them to have a, a bright, alert manner about them. It's just a case of you, you know when there's something not right. An advanced case of yonis is completely demoralising. You've reared an animal and it's standing there like skin and bones and there's no value in that car. You cannot send it away for uh, slaughter. It's just an animal that needs to be killed on farm. Yoni's disease is a, a chronic disease of cattle. So the bacteria that cause it uh, take a very long time to create a disease in an infected animal. So paratuberculosis in cattle, uh, Yoni, which is the same as Yoni's disease, uh, causes very severe chronic gut lesions which mean the animal loses more fluids than it takes in and as part of that loses a lot of the nutrients in the food uh, because of the thickening of the bowel wall and slowly but surely scours itself to death. We have a herd of 300 Solaire Cross Angus cows, a completely closed herd. We were getting the occasional incidence of a Yoni's typical cow, quite worrying as we were a closed herd, apart from buying in bulls. We sat down, discussed it with the vet and decided that we needed to tackle this head on, otherwise we're basically just burying our heads in the sand. So we entered the Premium Health Scheme and that has led us to be our involvement in Paraban. Health schemes have worked on some farms very well, the, the normal testing and um, culling of positive cows, but on other farms they haven't worked quite so well and we're not entirely sure why, there must be other things happening um, within the farm and how the farm is managed that may contribute to the disease. So the idea of Paraban is to really um, engage between farmers, between vets, between scientists and see if between amongst ourselves we can come up um, with new ideas and maybe some um, new information, new light to shed um, you know, on this problem. Well, the advantages to me being part of the Paraban scheme would be the fact that we can go in, we can blood test twice in a year, we also dung sample twice in a year, and that gives us a, a far faster way of looking at the disease. We can pick it up sooner within the animal. It allows us to pick the animal out, put it into isolation. The idea of the Open Days is to provide uh, an opportunity for the greater farming community to hear about each Paraban farm as a case study. So each farm can demonstrate the difficulties that they are facing, but how they're overcoming those difficulties. We can show them what we're finding from the project and show how the implementations that they're putting in place are really working. So we're really using this as a, as a way of getting the message out there, really. We're talking to farmers using that that opportunity of looking at another case farm and then getting them to share their own experiences too and from that we we learn a lot more by getting farmers from outside the project as well giving us information back from what they're seeing on their farms. Today we held our farm meeting which is an open meeting the aim was to try and attract some farmers from the local area that are keen to try and address the Yone's problem we were basically looking at trying to discuss protocols from our own experiences that may help uh, to reduce the incidence of yonis on other farms. I find that it's a professional way of moving the industry on. We have to be less insular and more open to discussion about the problems that we're facing on the farm, whether it's yonis or anything else. So I think that uh, we can have an input with our vets and academics to try and reduce the disease is a great thing and it's a, a relationship that, that I value and I think is important. What we do differently in the management of the cows, we run all the cows in various groups, we try to keep them in tight groups, tight calving patterns, we, we blood test in the dry period. The reason we blood test in a dry period is to try and eradicate the problem from the calving field. If we can get the calf up and running in an environment with as little yonis in the environment as we can possibly get, we may actually manage to rear animals that are yoni free. 
We're sampling sheds where we know that Yonia's positive cows have previously been housed. And what we want to know is whether the disinfection process works adequately and also whether or not bacteria is subsequently reintroduced, for example, by tractors that are housed in the sheds over the summer when they're empty of cows, where perhaps these tractors have driven through areas of the farm and picked up the bacteria. And to test this, we're looking at very specific points in the shed and we're marking these points in the shed so that we can go out back and resample them at later dates. We've been looking for the organism that causes the disease out in, in the fields, in the farm environment. And to start with, we thought we might not even find it um, in soil. But we found the organism. We found it actually where the farmers, the paraban farmers, thought it might be. The fields, they say, if you put cattle in that field, the cattle gets the disease. We found it in where the farmers have expected us to find it, which is very interesting. To work with scientists, it's, uh, it's, what will we say? I'll let you think of that one. Scientists, we're not very practical, <laughs> as you know. Um, farmers, obviously day-to-day, hands-on, very practical people. Um, and vets, I would say they're a bit of a halfway house <laughs> in many respects. So, to start with, communication was difficult. We have different agendas and different endpoints we want to get to. But now I think we're starting to understand each other better and the project is moving on very nicely. The day-to-day -day running still, the farmer doing the day-to-day -day running but the scientist on board to pick up what he thinks would be the ideal scenario to work from. So I can work with scientists. As long as we get to the end of the, the line and we can get a result, I'm quite prepared to put in all the effort. What we're doing in the Paraban project is actually working to find the best testing regimes and the best control options, actually, um, on an individual farm-by-farm -farm basis, given that every farm is different. Um, trying to improve that communication and that understanding of how to um, apply the best control measures for that farm. We're far from finished the project, but at this stage we recognise that on problem farms it looks like testing the cattle more frequently, although more expensive, is probably beneficial and makes much faster progress. Uh, testing animals when, that are younger in age is probably also an advantage. Initially when we started testing for Yonis, and uh, took the policy of culling all positives and offspring of positives. Um, that had quite a detrimental effect on our herd size to start with. But if we'd done nothing about it, I just felt that we're breeding our own replacements. We were just breeding in the disease. In the long run, it would have cost us money. It could have reduced the profitability of the business. What we're getting from it is the fact that we can go through the cows quicker. We can pick out the disease far quicker within the animal's uh, life and because we're blood testing and dung sampling it's a belt and braces way of trying to eradicate the disease. I think it's already been recognised by many of the people involved in, in uh, the livestock sector in Scotland that this approach has been very uh, successful and I think it's a very useful way of trying to get over messages between scientists and the farmers to try and promote the best practice. So I think really this has been an excellent model, an ex excellent project uh, and everybody's really pleased with the progress that's been made.